it's Sunday evening. Um, I'd like to say if you've just joined me, but I know nobody has just yet. It's okay. There's still loads of time. All right, let's just move that camera a little bit. Um, so yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon, a couple of people joined in and um, had a nice chat with one person. And um, we started out um, looking at and talking about building the um, the Hasegawa 172nd um, F35B Lightning II. And then when we opened the box, uh, realized that I put the instructions somewhere else. Duh. So thankfully we had a backup plan and that backup plan was this. Um, and this is, uh, it's Bandai from Mobile Suit Gundam. And I did a little checking um, in between yesterday's live stream and today. Cheekily did a little bit of extra work on it as well, you'll see. Um, nothing major. Um, this kit came out in 1984. Um, it's since been re-released with a different spelling of Perfect Zhong, with Z-E-O-N-G as the um, as the the correct spelling, I guess. Um, so a a Zhong um, was without the legs, and a Perfect Zhong is with the legs. Still haven't seen the uh, the eighties Gundam cartoons, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's move my chair. Off. Hang on. Right. Um, anyway, so that's this. Um, the artwork on the new box is exactly the same as the old artwork. Um, and it's still got the proper Bandai hologram from uh, back in the day. Um, literally all they've done is cha change the, uh, the I to an E and put some... Uh, well, obviously change the, uh, the type setting so it fits correctly. All right. So, what have we got? This is where we got up to yesterday. So, we... Make sure we're here on... On camera. Can we see that okay? No, it's a bit bright. It's a little bit... A little bit over bright. Hang on. There we go. Adjust that. So... We built the top of the leg, the chest, uh, a bit that goes in the middle of the chest, two hands, um, and then we built the arms, built leg number one, built leg number two, and that's where we got up to yesterday. So today, the plan is to build, build the butt, build the chest, put the thrusters on, put the stuff together, put the head on, and it shouldn't take too long to do this, and then clip it all together and say, yay, we're all done. Not gonna paint it, uh, I don't have any paints with me. Uh, I have glue and I have knives, and I have clippers and files, and that's, that's all we got. So what I did have with me today was um, a can of I'm putting that down there. I need this. Um, a rattle can of primer. So what we did yesterday, we finished these legs. And so I shot some primer, nice and grey, and they still move. A little bit of primer missing in, in there but we'll weather that when we get to it. Maybe we'll shoot a little bit of extra something back there. That's not a problem. Uh, which way around is he? So that goes like this. And then, um, well, let's see. Here's the box. A couple of bits fell off the sprues. A couple of bits I clipped off the sprues um, just in anticipation of doing this today. Um, haven't filed anything down and probably will have to end up Cleaning up some edges and then re repriming anyway, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, so there's the chest, there's the back. 
There's the top of the skirt. There is the bit that goes inside it with some greebly bits. Here are three thrusters that go over there. Here are the two arms. Um, and a shoulder pad, shoulder pad, although they're not shoulder pads. Let me just clip that one off. Don't need that, that takes up a lot of room. Um, these actually go across the legs and looking at the artwork, this one has it and this one doesn't. Um, I we glued all these bits to the side there and, and there's details of why would you cover it up? I don't know, why would you want to cover it up? Uh, hands. rebuild this the chest bits that's fine I didn't prime them because they're right on the inside um, and some thrusters and that bit just came off don't need those for now put them aside so uh, we've got somebody else on who's because it's we've got two people watching one of them is me this is the uh, the, the iPad of, uh, of doom uh, so I can check the chat and uh, if <laughs> this is going to be fun we had this yesterday if you are the uh, the second person or really actually the first person say hello chat this right where are we right there on your screen just there you can type go typey 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 ask me questions have a chat pretend you're in this kitchen with me um, this is not an upgrade to my shed this is just a you know let's call it a different studio um, right, so, assuming person number two, we know person number one, but person number two over there, uh, let's assume that you're watching and not just being idle in the background. Get involved. Let's start with number six. Um, so, we want to glue... Did a bit of extra translating so these black the solid black lines mean glue duh the dotted black lines mean don't glue it says so right here right here and that says if you see a solid black line don't glue the piece if you see a dotted black line sorry do glue the piece with a solid line. If you use a dotted line, don't glue the piece. And the rest of this, frankly, doesn't make much sense in Google's camera translate. Um, this is a very, very interesting language, which I will learn next lifetime around, I guess. Mark's scale models. Hello, Mark. I'm assuming Mark. Welcome, welcome to the, uh, to, to the Gundam show. Um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Um, well, I am, uh, hopefully you will. Uh, this little symbol here, which is there as well, well, that says, be careful, and I'm not sure if it means uh, when you see the sign, be careful of hurting yourself or breaking the part. I'm not sure, um, but uh, yeah, it says be careful. So I think let's start. I mean, these came off. I just want to check that the edges are okay. And if there's anything here that needs polishing up, the glue's going to go around on the inside once this is clipped in. The, this piece needs definitely needs a little tidy up there. So, Mark, I hope you're prepared for an hour or so. Hopefully, wouldn't we won't be here for too long tonight. Uh, Tomorrow apparently is Monday, which some people like to go to work. Don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, so I don't want to keep you up too long. And frankly, this, this next, these next few steps on this are not going to be too hard. So let's just tidy this up. Make sure I get a bit of bare plastic on here so uh, we're not gluing paint to paint. Now, 
Yes, Mark, I'm all good. Um, today, I've, I've been visiting my folks up in uh, the east of, uh, of the country. And we've been doing some gardening today. Uh, you know, what else are you going to do on the run-up to Christmas but pull uh, weeds off the roof of the garage? So, uh, yeah, we've spent half the afternoon until we lost the light uh, ripping a giant Himalayan rose um, off the garage without pulling all the tiles off it. So that was, uh, that was good fun. Um, and then trying to stuff it all into a wheelie bin so that uh, the council can take it away on Wednesday. Um, in between whiles, I primed this and um, and shot some satin primer on uh, on another uh, kit which I thought I'd finished and then I, I've realised that actually maybe I've got a bit more work I should do on it because uh, I'm not 100% happy with it. And when I am 100% happy I will start putting pictures up on uh, proper pictures up on social media for it. Um, so, Mark, what have you been up to? Um, I'm all good. Uh, how are you? Of course, I'm asking. I'm asking this as if it's going to be an instant reply. We're on a what, 10, 20 second delay on YouTube. Um, I'm going to apologise again for the 720. I hate 720p, um, but I guess actually, if uh, if you're watching this on a phone or uh, a small tablet, then it's probably all right. If you're watching this on a 4K telly, it's going to look terrible. Absolutely bloody awful. But most of us don't have 4K tellies. Right, so let's glue this together. This is really weird. I'm in real time on my computer over here, and I'm in odd delay over here. So this is the uh, Mr. Color. Um, no, Mr. Hobby, sorry. Uh, Mr. Cement S is the super thin, um, essentially MEK methyl ethyl ketone, which smells fantastic and melts styrene like a dream. Back in the shed, I have a pot. Um, I bought a few nail blank nail varnish pots, blank empty empty nail varnish uh, bottles, a bit like this, just the round ones, 15 mil. And I tipped in some um, some MEK, um, just proper clear MEK, and with no other additives or anything else in there, and. Uh, that stuff's really good for making, um, uh, I was using the Humbrol filler, um, scoop a little bit out, put it on and then, I wouldn't use this, this is really expensive, um, but the MEK was like 10 quid for a litre or, or even um, not as expensive as 10, 10 quid for a litre, I don't know how much it was. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's really good, uh, it's, it's not good for you for your lungs, it's not good for um, your brain. It, it will it will give you those uh, sort of teenage highs that uh, that you still want when you're forty something. And um, yeah, the shed smells fantastic, um, but it's also really, really good at filling gaps because uh, the Humbrol model fill is really kind of it's a bit thick, but once it's melted down a little bit with the MEK, it's pretty damn good. Uh, right, so that's glued. Let's find the thrusters. Let's uh, pop these out. So I'm I'm still torn about the colour scheme uh, that I want to do on this. Um, do I want to do the the classic 
blue and white. And there's a picture of it. Do I want to do that? It's not the most exciting. I don't know. I mean, there's there's loads and loads of other fun little bits that I could do detail, like get all the uh, sort of the scribing and uh, and 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 fake up, you know, because on that's just a piece of plastic. There's no detail on there whatsoever, apart from those um, those lines. I don't know. Maybe stick to the original. It's a shame that it's you've got clear parts there for the uh, for the eyes, but there are no no clear parts here. So we're just going to have to do sort of space marine glow. Uh, some lenses in there. I probably won't paint that um, live because then you'll see me making loads and loads of painting mistakes. We don't like that. You guys have to pretend that I'm really good at what I do. Um, so next, let's uh, clean that, clean these bits up before I <laughs> talk myself into a corner. Um, a really funny thing happened. Um, <laughs> I promoted this yesterday um, on several Facebook groups and Twitter and um, wherever else, I'm not sure. Mark, I don't know where you, uh, I'm assuming because you're on here, you came from Twitter. Um, but yeah, I actually got a message from one of the admins of a, of a Facebook group saying that um, they deleted my post because it violated their terms of uh, being on that group because it was a link to a video that provided a link um, to my blog, which uh, there's a page on there that offers commission work. So four inception levels down of, of linking. Um, and if you looked really, really hard enough, that violated the terms of posting on that. Um, that Facebook page so I said okay yeah sorry um, won't do that again so no I'm not going to be posting on that group again um, not this kind of stuff I'll, you know, I'll post pictures and chat and that kind of stuff but they're not interested in uh, in this because this is clearly money making commercial work of me sanding um sanding so these bits solid line means glue are we in focus it is in focus I think we're gonna get we have somebody else has joined the party hello hello next person we've got Mark and uh, and, and there's me and um, who are you? Do join us um, over here, as I've said, over there. Oh, I can't do this camera thing. It's backwards there. Type, type, type in the chat window and, uh, and introduce yourself. Say hello and join this fun little evening of, uh, of me gluing and sanding. So those go in there, just like that. Nice and simple and yeah, they fall out, so they are going to need glue. Now, I love Bandai kits. I love the 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 modern, especially the modern Bandai kits. They're fantastic. Um, they don't need glue. You can you can glue them if you want. Um, I do sometimes. Um, come on, stay down there. Uh, but this is. I thought I'd try something a bit different. I mean, I've built a number of Star Wars kits and and, and a Gundam um, from the Bandai range, and I've built, with my kids, I've built a couple of, of their sprue kits, the, um, a Batman and a Superman. Um, didn't use any glue on that either, and brilliant, brilliant little kits. 
So I thought I'd do something a little bit different and try this thing out. Um, as I said in the beginning of this, uh, this kit is from 1984. Um, which actually, it's, it's, it's weird that <laughs> I found this kit and I didn't know it was from 1984. I was looking around online today trying to figure out where the hell, when this was made. Um, and then with the whole spelling of the, the, the name is different to how it's currently being marketed. Um, 1984 is one of the best years ever, right? Um, it's the year they shot Back to the Future. It's the year that Transformers came out on TV. It's the year... Um, yeah, it's... He-Man, I think, was, was I was watching He-Man on telly. It was my childhood, clearly. Um, yeah, 84, I, I was seven. Mm. And I think that year has had a slight, tiny little bit of uh, um, influence on the rest of my life. Uh, because now I... 41, I'm building big, giant, silly toy robots. That's okay. I'm judging myself. Um, you don't have to. But person number two, if you, who, you've you just joined us, you, well, you, you don't have to judge me, but you do have to write in the chat. Um, right, so part six, that, that bit's done. That's going to be fun. Lots of weathering and inks and uh, and things to do in there. Especially because this is going to be sitting like that and you're not going to see a damn thing. Just like I'm going to do all the all the mud on the bottom of the, and uh, Well, not mud as such. It's a spacesuit. Um, flames coming out of it and dirt and scratches and, and you know, space debris kind of destruction. Is that what we want to do? I'm sure that's what we want to do. Mark was 22 in 1984. Well, thanks for joining me. Um, this is the internet. Um, we don't have to dial up anymore. We don't have to go through a bulletin board service. Um, it's, it's nice of you to, uh, to, to know how to you know, program the VCR. Uh, what's next then? So I need to get these, uh, these bits, um, these thrustery bits onto the um, onto the chest and onto the back. So here we are. Let's let's tidy these up because these popped off the sprue without. Uh... Do you know what? They came off the sprue cleaner than me cutting them off. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? So either we've lost Mark or we've lost the uh, the next person. Um, stick with us. We're not going to be here all night. This is going to be a nice, relatively real time but quick job. Uh, to be fair, if I was recording this and, and editing, uh, this would be a, probably a, a four minute video. Um, because it's a case of, this is what I did. I cut this off, I tidied this up, I primed it, I stuck it together. The glamour of, hey, Mark's still here. Good. Good, good, nice to have you still with us. Uh, so, Mark, where are you? Uh, where are you typing from? Are you, are you UK? Are you uh, elsewhere? Are you, are you an international caller? That'd be that'd be exciting. What am I doing? These bits. That is forty-three. Both of those are forty-three, and both of these are thirty-five. So, these two are forty-three, and this one that came off with that one is thirty-five. 
So 43 and 35, okay. I couldn't tell you what the difference is just yet. I haven't studied them close enough. But these little parts seem to be a lot better um, studied when they're stuck on something rather than trying to look close up. But look, this is a 43. Yeah, and that's why, because I'm clumsy. You're on the Wirral, Northern lad. Nice. Why, why are these different? <laughs> I don't understand why these are different. That's a part 43 and that's a part 35. Um, and they're identical. Oh well, you you got a number of things, don't you? Right, oh, that one's done. This one is next, and then we'll get those bits. I'm looking forward to seeing this all clipped together. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to glue the legs on today just because I want to get the paint in there properly. Um, and that means sub-assemblies. Oh, look at this. There's no, no pinhole marks. No locator pins, no nothing. That just fits very badly <laughs> on there. Um, so let's file that down a bit more. flat okay yeah this is the cardinal sin I guess of priming before gluing is that you end up Gluing plastic to paint or paint to paint. Um, and that means either using a bit more glue in the long run or it not sticking particularly well. Twenty minutes and you're in Liverpool City Centre. Very nice. I haven't actually been to Liverpool since I went you see that's not sticking. Damn it. All right, let's uh, prime this side as well with uh, with a bit of glue. Let that melt it off. Right, here we go. Let's try again. Yeah, last time I was in Liverpool, I think I was eight or nine. Because I grew up up north. Became a southerner when I was ten. But it's warmer down here, so it's okay. The people aren't warmer. <laughs> Just the weather. There we go. Let's get that aligned nicely. Now, every now and then I might fall off camera and Apologies if, if that happens. Let's do the thing that this does best. Weld it on the seam. Right, and then there's this one. Happy with that. Let's clip that bit off and get rid of that bit of sprue. 
So um, I'm right now. I'm in Peterborough, um, thirty miles north of Cambridge, and usually I'm in South London in the bottom of my garden, in my shed. It's a good shed. Right. It's a secure shed. It's got internet and light and insulation and. At some point, it'll have ventilation. Apparently, ventilation is uh, is important when you're uh, you're breathing in masses of fumes doing uh, model building. Never bothered me. Yeah, I was, when was it, February, March this year. Is that right? That doesn't look right. That can't go that way around, can it? Hang on. No, I've got it right. I assume if this was um, a more modern kit, that would angle, that would be on a, a little ball joint that would angle out uh, and allow you to turn the hip. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it was February or March and I was, um, yeah, it was February because it was coming up to Valentine's Day and I was delivering a commission to, oh, I'm talking commissions now. Oh no, I'm breaching all the rules. Um, I was about to deliver a uh, commission piece to a, to a guy who uh, who'd commissioned yeah who'd commissioned me um, down in near Brighton, and I thought let's kill two birds with one stone, take the wife out and and do a nice fun Valentine's um, on the coast in the freezing freezing cold. Um, it was good, that was fun. Um, but for most of that week, as I was putting the finishing touches, this was a, a big um, one, uh, yeah, full scale, one to one bust of um, the Batmaster from, um, from Dracula, from the Gary Oldman film. It survived, it survived, it's all good, it's okay. Just needs a little bit more glue to uh, to weld it back in there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, and the uh, the finishing touches of, of doing this was obviously spraying glass, spraying matte, spraying glass, spraying matte, getting veins painted in. And I spent about three days spraying some really noxious fumes in there. Uh, in the shed and apparently my behavior changed completely that week I was really really on edge um, I was hungrier than normal I couldn't sleep I was basically stoned for most of that week thanks to future floor for future floor polish army painter satin uh, coat um, no carpet monster in here, no, it's a nice hard floor, everything bounces off and ricochets under fridges and God knows where else. We've got a carpet in the shed, uh, which needs vacuuming, it's filthy, because uh, the dog has dug up the garden, uh, so getting to the shed means walking through a muddy swamp. Uh, bloody dog. People keep trying to tell me that I love my dog and I suppose I should really admit to that at some point but at the minute he's two and he's a pain in the ass. He's my wife's dog. I walk him. <sighs> okay. So what's next?
this is not the most complicated build on earth. So we've got to put this bit together again, um, which we did in the step two here, um, which was literally that. And then this. Ta-da! Right. Um, and that, that face is down, that face is up. That gets clipped into there and pushed all the way in. And that, are you kidding me? That gets glued. Why would you glue that bit? That's odd. Okay. That says glue that in there. So long story short, um, I became a complete arse for a week because I was breathing in noxious fumes and didn't wear my um, uh, face mask, which I really should have done. And so because of that, um, I'm going to be fitting um, be fitting a, a better window or an opening window or putting a hole in there so my uh, airbrush booth can ventilate outside. Uh, you had a Labrador for 16 years. God. Yeah, we have a Labradoodle. Um, standard poodle um, sized um, Labradoodle. Very fluffy, very nuts. Um, I was hoping he would calm down but by the sounds of things he might not. I actually have a roll of artificial grass, which um, once I level out the back garden, I'm going to be rolling out artificial grass and hopefully um, he won't chew that. Artificial grass, for Christ's sake. Okay, so the next stage is to glue this together. So... Anything else that I need to worry about? No. So let's let's weld that from the inside, I think. The thing I love about this glue is that it does the weld usually. Um, if you've if you've prepped the parts right and haven't painted over them like an idiot. <laughs> I've got the best to come. Yeah, I'm sure I do. Um, he's a lovely dog actually he's just a pain in the backside uh, yeah the thing I really like about this glue is that you don't have to clamp your parts you just have to hold them for 10 seconds or so while it does its thing and then pretty much they're set for life. Now major parts of, uh, of construction on this, um, I think I'll, you know, I'll end up gluing this to this like that. For some reason that doesn't quite match up. Oh, it do it's meant to not match up. That's weird. Gonna need some filler. Going to need some filler on this model, I think. So that's gonna go in there. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Sorry, let's get put it down here so it's a bit more in focus. Yeah, we'll glue that bit. And then we'll uh, get the head on it. Let's see. Glue to there, yes, good clean these bits up without being careful because that says to be careful uh, and then glue that there but not to there simple 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 so i think my tip of the weekend and this uh, I'm going to try and always follow my own advice on this 
is always have a Bandai kit handy. Because they're so damn good. If you're feeling crap about a project that you're on, you're stalling, it's not working um, on a big build or something else, put it aside. Do a Bandai kit. Um, or, as we found this weekend, if you've put the instructions in the wrong place and you can't build the kit that you want to build, however exciting it looks, don't, don't do it without the thing. Do the Bandai kit that you've got on standby. Let's paint that in. See if we can get that gap melted together a little bit more. I'm not too worried about the uh, um, any mess this glue is causing on the primer. I've still probably got some sanding to do on it before um, I'm sanding and filling before repriming and putting the main paint on. Just wanted to not be playing with bare pl white plastic. I hate bare white plastic. So that's pretty cool. Right, next, these bits. I'll tell you what, Mark, it's just you and me. But that's okay, I'm uh, not complaining in any way. It was yesterday, um, if you have a look, if you haven't already seen it back on the feed, it was mostly me and Colin, um, who had some very interesting things to say. <laughs> I quite like that I can do this live and then uh, YouTube just processes it and allows you guys to uh, to see it later on. So even if you haven't joined me uh, for the chat, if you're watching this, um, if you're watching this on demand, then uh, don't call in, the lines are closed. If you're watching this live, well, then you're marked. Yeah, definitely not complaining. Do you, uh, you know, do you remember way back in the mist of time um, at school when the teacher would call out the register and somebody wasn't there and it was a case of, why isn't that person here? Why? Where is whoever? And it's like, we're here. We've all turned up. We don't know where that guy is. Don't shout at us. Bloody teachers. They're very good. They're very useful. But sometimes I never understood why the 29 people got the blame for the one person who didn't show. Oh well. And that's my bit of observational comedy for the, uh, for the night. Right, so this bit clips on here. And we'll be able to turn because they've given us a little pin there, which is great. And that bit clips on behind it, just like that. It's quite, apart from the antlers, it's quite a, a funky looking helmet. I'm not sure about the antlers. I don't know what purpose they serve. I'm sure they're uh, they're, they're important. <laughs> but they look like it looks like a robot reindeer. <laughs> so you never heard the complaints because you're the, you're the kid that was never there. Oh, Mark, you 
don't know what kind of pain you caused everybody else, man. That's brilliant. I kind of wish I had the balls when I was a kid to uh, to just skive off. There we go. Right, let, let that dry it, and then we'll uh, clean up the top of that that bit ahead there. Right, so that's glued. We've been careful with that and with that. Well, it doesn't say to be careful with that one, only that one. Um, so that's six and seven done. Look at this, we are on the final stage of put this bugger together. Right, so we're gonna put 30 and 31 on the left leg and 45 and 46 on the right leg. But because they're exactly the same, that's annoying. They're both, they're both pins, not a pin and a hole. So I'm gonna do this one and just do the right leg. I'm just gonna do this, you know, for somebody who's um, a bit bent out of shape, not knowing what color scheme I'm gonna do, I'm sticking pretty much to the, uh, to the standard artwork and and uh, keep doing that. Blowing plastic dust into my eye. So that clips together like that. Where we can see what other cleanup we need to do. some gardening and this right so that goes on there that goes on there covers up all of that fun all those fun little bits now I think we need to pop that in that way and that will then limit the movement there okay so we can glue that together and then we'll leave the other one exposed so uh, So you can see all the greeblies and a bit of extra weathering. I mean, you can see some nice little bits of detail there, but all the extra pipes that we actually glued in, I don't know why we bothered. What was, what was the point? Because we know we did it. I should have painted it as well, you know, just to say I know I painted it. Nah. Okay, so that's that one. What's new then? So we've got arms, they go like that. Let's put some hands, so we don't need that, that's in the bin. I'm not gonna use these. these, these can go back in the box. Oh my goodness, we get to that point where it's all gonna come together, click. Oh, okay, that's it. So then we've got movement there, movement there, and movement there. That's pretty good. It's not as, not quite as mobile as the modern kits, but you know these are, these are old. That's cool. Let's just tidy that up. Make sure I don't break those antlers while I'm doing it. Smooth. Right, 
Might have to, let's see if we can back scrape some of that clean. Without completely ruining the, uh, the feel of, um, of the geometry of this head. Now if I can ever get hold of one of these cartoons, I think I'll uh, have, to, have to give it a watch. There we go. Mostly to see where the um, where the battle damage happens, and and how the uh, the cartoon laser fire actually affects these space faring lumps of uh, of hewn metal. That's a weird, weird kind of thing. Now these that's going to go like that. Oh, do you know what? I could glue that in. There's loads of room for me to work in there. It's just a shame they didn't put um, some kind of clippy clip there that could connect to this so I could actually just clip it in there and then carry on rotating it. I wonder if maybe a, a perfect grade or master grade, I don't know what this, if they had those then. This is... It's MSN02, variation 31, it says on the box, um, or number 31. So, yeah, I have no idea. So, we're just going to have to be careful of, uh, of the, uh, the pose of these, of the, uh, of the leg joints. I'm going to do that now, before I put the arms in. goes that way around. What a doofus. That one's the right way around, this one's not. So that's what that meant. You always learn what your mistakes are later on in life. I did not spot that that little bit there meant there is a cutout. Make sure that's at the front, you twat. Okay. Right, so it doesn't matter that there's one at the back because that will just sit there and we just have to cut one out at the front. It goes about here. And I've <laughs> broken that bit off. It's very thin, very thin plastic. This will either work really well, it will break the whole thing, or it will send me to the first aid cupboard for plasters. Let's have a look. Again, there. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to. Uh, to have a little gap that will fit and and now that I've done that that came off and I could just swap them around anyway so what I was saying about the glue uh, it stays on there forever and it is perfect uh, until you need to remove it lovely oh battle damage. I think it did that because I put more glue on it and it softened the plastic. That's why. It had nothing to do with the glue not holding the first time. It just reactivated plaster's masking tape. Put masking tape on me. 
plasters on the model. Let's just realign that. Okay. Yeah, reading up about this thing. So the this is called a perfect Zhang. Jiang, I don't know. Um, before it was perfect, there was a version of it which didn't have legs. There we go, look at that, that's in there nicely. So let's make sure that stays in there nicely. Loads of room, what was I worried about? So much room to get in there with, with an airbrush. And weathering oils and stuff. Maybe I'll get oils out on this one. Because nothing says a quick, old-fashioned, cheap model kit than uh, practicing your, your oil weathering techniques on it. All right, let's get the other leg ready as well. Weirdest, weirdest design. I mean, I get that it needs to fly. I understand that. But why did you have to make it have a giant ass with, um, with thrusters in it? I mean, when it's flying, surely it's looking like it's sort of, you know, farting along through space. No? Why are you not gluing? Get you out of the way. Come on. That's clipped in now. Yeah, no, 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 stay clipped in. Bloody thing. And the glue's evaporated already. Come on. transferring a little bit of paint into this glue. I'll be gluing things with a bit of colour. Right, let's just hold that there for a minute before I do any more. Now is it Tamiya or, or Mr. Hobby? I saw um, a bit of news few weeks ago that they're doing um, a glue, a thin glue like this one, but that's black, that stains the areas that, you're, that you've glued, which I think is frankly an awesome idea. You can see where, what you've missed. And if you need to, you can, I guess you use it as pre-shading. Oh, but bloody thing. Come on. Stop adding more glue to the problem. Just learn from your mistakes. Come on. Right. Let's see if I sit 
hit that like that. And while we're doing this, let's let's take off the primer there because that just wants to. We want that to be a bare join without any extra thickness. Same on this one. Oh, let's tidy that up as well, that's ugly. I guess this is the other good thing about priming. You can see what you've missed, what needs cleaning up without the ugly gloss. Black, uh, white plastic underneath. Much better. Let's try and get that bit out. There we go. It's a little bit loose. God, it's like I've been playing with. <laughs> That's way too loose for a brand new connection. Oh well. Let's bung you in. And bring you in as well. Are you going to go in nice? So that's it. And of course, the leg has glued now, but it glued in the wrong place. So we've got to take that out. Don't be that guy. Bit of model part. There we go. So there he is. A uh, completed primed mobile suit Gundam. That's exciting. With undersides that will do things. I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting this uh, in the painting section and uh, get some video work done on that. And, uh, and that is glued, good. Yes, that's just loose. That's fine. That's all good. Oh. And then this will bend, that will bend more, so it can run and it can sing and dance because why wouldn't it want to uh, extol the virtues of everything Bandai? So uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that to cure. And, uh, and we're all done. Awesome. Mark, it's been a pleasure. And anybody listening, uh, watching on, uh, um, on, on catch up on, uh, on, on YouTube, uh, video on demand. Um, thank you for, for clicking on this. Um, little two part live build of, um, this, if you like, if you have enjoyed watching this, if it hasn't been too slow and dull for you, um, do leave other comments and you know, like, subscribe, hit the bell for when I do new stuff. Um, and check out all my other videos on, on the channel. There's some actually produced things, a few live things that didn't go so well because the internet was down, doesn't help. Um, and an entire raft of ideas all up here um, ready to to go um, in the the coming months including the 
um, F-35B Lightning II, um, which will get built um, in RAF colours um, and possibly put on a, a little diorama of a, a bit of aircraft carrier. Um, we've got, um, what else? We've got a couple of Batmobiles to finish. We've got um, some more Star Wars vehicles to sort out. We've got um, Mobius's um, Black Widow figure, which needs I need to finish. I need to finish sculpting her head. It's bloody awful. Um, the position uh, of, of the head was, was bad. So I've, I've cut the head off and tilting it and moving things around. And now it's, it's filled with this putty and green stuff. Uh, we've, yeah, speaking of green stuff, we've got the DeLorean, the Ready Player One. We've got the electronics to do on that next. Um, plus... Uh, to show off the figure that um, I've um, tweaked to, to go with it. Um, and we've got the, uh, I can't wait to do it, and I need to, to be disciplined and finish the things I've got to finish before I do that, and that is Ecto-1A um, from Ghostbusters 2 with um, lights, with photo etch. Um, We'll see what other nonsense we can do, like make a, make the gurney for the back, make the door open, and, and have that. Maybe, who knows, I'm going completely nuts, uh, thinking of all the things I want to do, and uh, not realising that there are only 24 hours on every day, um, and not all of them are available to me. But for now, we've glued this. Um, so, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs>